boys and girls. Hello there, it's Tim Newman here. I'm here in my home studio and today I wanted to talk to you about how to earn money as a teenager. Now, these are pretty crazy times. We're at home a lot more maybe, or maybe you're working more, um, but you wanna find a way to expand your horizons, maybe start a business, start a project, or start saving up for something and earning a bit more money and you want to do it yourself. Now here's some ways you can do it. First of all, a bit of background on myself. My name's Tim Newman. I'm a 19 year old full time musician. I've never had a regular job um, and here's how I've done it. What I'm going to do is without going into too much detail, give you a few things which I've used to earn money and a few tips on how you can do them. If you want me to go more in depth about one topic, just put a comment below and I'll be sure to do it in my next video. I think because of the way I was raised, I've always been quite good and creative with uh, making money. I would find random things, which you'll see by some of the things on this list, but these aren't like get rich quick programs. They're not, you know, do surveys online and you'll get free Nando's for a year. These are genuine things which work and which you can probably start doing straight away. Some of them you might have even already done and some of them you might not have thought of. Now, the first thing is selling things. Now, this might seem obvious, but a lot of us have so much stuff around us in the house that we never use, but we hold on to for some reason, and it's just money sitting there. So, for example, when I was about 11 years old, we had big tubs of Lego in our garage. It's a bit loud, mate. Sorry, there's a loud motorbike, but we're just going to get on with this because I need to get this video done and I want to make it as quick as possible for you guys. When I was younger, we used to play with a lot of Lego. So when I turned about 11, we had loads of just tubs of Lego sat in the garage. So I thought, well, with the type of brain I've got, I could, you know, sell some of this Lego, maybe, if people even buy this, and maybe make some money so that I can invest it into other things. Now, my brothers weren't super happy about this because some of the Lego was theirs, but long story short, I trawled through the boxes, I found the minifigures, go through the list of all the Star Wars characters and their names, find them, and just match them up, and then see how much they were worth. And some minifigures, you'd be so surprised about how much a little Lego man can sell for. Yeah, I, just, I would just sell all this Lego anyway. I sold that Lego made about 800 pounds when I was 11 years old and I was like oh this is awesome so you know this brings me on to my next subject which is um, buying and selling things which is kind of the next step so there's the finding things around your house like oh I'm gonna sell this these are hair clippers I'm gonna sell this hair clipper by the way I cut my own hair what do you think and the lockdown beard I'm gonna sell these hair clippers so you sell them and you found something in your house to sell the next step would be I'm going to find something for a price then I'm going to sell it for more than that price so you're buying and selling I think this is also called flipping with things like this you can you need to get familiar with your post office what things cost to post because that broadens your horizons from just being someone who sells things locally to being someone who can sell things to a much wider audience and this you know more than doubles your your audience or your customer base really another thing that I did when I was younger is I used to make cards birthday cards Christmas cards and just go and sell them door to door. Maybe you're great at washing cars. Maybe you can cut grass really well. Maybe you've got a good lawnmower sitting in your garage right now. People are at home. So go knock on the door, say, look, uh, I'd love to cut your grass. Um, I've made this card I want to sell you. I've you know, done whatever, get creative. Another thing I've done and I really enjoyed is um, shoes. So for example, Yeezys. Yeezys are shoes. Kanye West did a collaboration with Adidas Originals and he made some shoes. These shoes, they do raffles, so you can enter a raffle to win the chance to buy them. You don't even win the shoes. I've entered a couple raffles and got some pretty rare shoes, and then you can often flip them for more money. Okay, the next thing is find something you can produce for a steady income. Now this is an interesting one because this is probably the most unique thing I've ever done. I used to breed and sell lizards. Yes, breed and sell lizards. Now I grew up loving reptiles and animals, being fascinated by nature. So I had some pet reptiles and I would watch videos on YouTube and I would see people have these businesses doing something they love where they take their pets and put them in an environment and they basically, this isn't that type of video. Anyway, you can sell the babies. When I was around 11, I found a way to produce an income doing something I really enjoyed and was passionate about. And then you can do things like, you know, documenting um, your journey 
on YouTube of you doing this and for me it was the lizards taking care of them, how to feed them. I ended up selling my collection of reptiles to move more into music, which is what I'm doing now. If you're new to my channel, you can click the first link in my bio and you can check out my latest single. The next thing is similar to the last one but slightly different which is find something you're good at and market it. So learn how to cut hair. Recently, I've just decided to cut my own hair and I did my, I cut my own hair and it wasn't that bad, you know. I did obviously didn't cut the top, but I cut the sides, you can see it a bit. Anyway, this video is not about that. My brothers saw that I'd cut my hair and done it okay. So they were like, yeah, you can cut my hair. So I cut my brother's hair and I did it for free because they're my brothers. Find something you're good at and push yourself. Not in an unhealthy way where it gets stressful, but if you really are passionate about something and you're good at it, maybe you're a great cook. So how can you use that gift and give people something of value, but also let people um, show their gratitude to you through paying you? Another thing is refurbishing. Going back to the lizards, not only did I sell the lizards, I also sold the cages. So I would buy old beaten up cages on eBay full of lime scale because they were made of glass mainly with the, the reptiles that I was breeding. Anyway, I'd get them, scrub them up, clean them, take nice pictures of them and then sell them on for more money. It's super simple, but it is super effective. Now we're going to go more into what is my forte these days, which is music. So for me, busking has been my biggest source of income so far. I just decided one day when I was 13, I'm gonna go out with my guitar on the street and sing. Anyway, it's great fun and you can really earn some good money. I've got heaps more vlogs talking about this. This is actually, oh, it's disappeared. This is my busking vlogs playlist behind me so you can go and look at how much I've earned and how much you can earn and ways to earn more money. The next thing, let me turn that down. The next thing that naturally comes from this is gigs. Now if you're busking and putting yourself out there and you're showing you're passionate, you're not just going out and looking lazy and bored, but you're doing a performance, naturally you're going to get gigs, which is the next thing. Now gigs, you can make loads of money doing gigs. People always ask me, how do you get gigs? How do you get gigs? And I'd say the two biggest ways I get gigs, one through busking and two through um, making videos like this and putting stuff on social media. So just putting yourself out there. Then the next one going on from that would be playing shows and selling tickets to friends and family. So I did my debut headline show December just gone and I'd say 80% of the people there were friends and family but they want to support you and they want to buy tickets so start small don't be embarrassed to do shows that are just friends and family and they'll pay to support you they'll buy merch they'll buy your CD they'll buy a ticket and then you'll be able to expand and grow to have a wider audience of people who aren't just your friends and family, but you need your friends and family posting on social media and all of this sort of stuff. But the most important thing out of all of this is to remember money is not the be all and end all. Now money is good, but I had money from a young age. And as I grew up, I realized that I had to pay for things. And sometimes when money was starting to run out, I would get very stressed out. And that is not a good place to be. It made me sick and it's not a good place to be. So thankfully I'm not there anymore, but don't get obsessed, please. Because if you're watching this, you're probably the type of person who has a similar type of brain to me and wants to work things out themselves and wants to do the legwork and put hard work into earn money. Don't get carried away. Money's great, but it's a tool. You use money, don't let money use you.